All right, first off, if you watched up to this point, thank you for the like support on this series. So here's what I decided to do with Skull and Bones, right? After kind of getting to the helm and then meeting the new Kingpin, I decided to just go all the way. So I got the best ship in the game. I spent about seven or eight hours just kind of grinding, getting like my, I guess, infamy rank higher, just so I could actually get some of the better stuff. I'm not Kingpin yet, but I'm Cutthroat. But I'll go ahead and show you everything right now. So I've had a lot of fun covering this game, but I also... I kind of enjoyed my downtime playing it when I wasn't recording. Uh, there was a lot of farming, though. It's kind of a grindy game. Haven't really seen the end game yet, but I wanted to finish the main contracts, try it out. And here we are. All right, so here's what I've kind of changed since the last video, right? I got probably the best ship in the game. Uh, I've got a lot of silver, as you can see. The Hole Breaker, I think, is one of the better ships in the game. It's actually the fastest one, too. So right now, I'll kind of show you what I did. I haven't done any other main contracts, I was kind of saving that for the videos. My goal is to get to the end of that, it's kind of like the end of the story. Or at least until the PS5 tells me I'm like 100%. Because it's still at 50 for some reason. Alright, so I crafted this ship. You have to go get a bunch of stuff. I can actually craft it again, which is crazy. Um, I got a lot of materials. I've been farming like non-stop. The Hull Breaker is the one that I think everybody wants. Because one, it's the fastest ship in the game, but it also has the Bullhorn perk. Which, you kind of just play very aggressive with this. I haven't tried this one out, though. I skipped this one as well because this is like the more tanky one. I guess ship type tank makes sense, right? But I don't really understand. Like, the whole health is 50,000. This is 40, but it's just... You can play a lot more aggressive. I'm still level, like, 8. I'll show you where my infamy rank is. I'm at cutthroat and a half. Uh, my ship is right now 8, but I don't have everything maxed out yet. I'll show you kind of what weapons I put on. So I crafted, I got the blueprint for uh, the fourth version of this. There's actually a fifth, I just don't have all the materials yet because some of the in-game currency is pretty wild to get. So I have four of those and on the front I have the Mortar 1, which isn't the best. Now the armor is the one thing I want to increase, but I haven't got a purple one yet. Everything is kind of locked behind being Kingpin, so I'm not quite there yet. But anyways, next objective is Blue Moon Bribes. I've, like, skipped two ships since then, which is kind of funny. I can't even see the uh, thing. I wish that icon didn't pop up. There we go. Set sell. I always remember, like, the pop-ups will probably go away. They'll probably, like, change a lot of stuff. I've seen a lot of people talking about... Okay, we're going over here. I've seen it. What is this? This is the, uh, the co-op event. Wait, level 7. Interesting. We'll probably see that along the way. To think that silver and fancy trinkets would be enough to betray one's people. But you'll watch how fast this goes. Now, this is not with the wind behind you. I think the highest I've seen it go is like 18. Right now, it's 17. If the wind gets directly behind us, which is about to, it goes to 18. It may go higher, but I doubt it. It's the fastest ship in the game right now. So, currently, they have small ships and they have... Oh, we're actually going. This is like some co-op event. Now, you can get a purple armor from this, but these ships are extremely tanky. I'm like rank 8, which is really just the sum of all the stuff I have on board. Although this is 7, I don't quite want to do it yet. Because once they start all shooting at me, it's extremely tanky. Because I could go and like fire like a mortar strike and probably get the one in the back maybe, but this event pops up a lot. <laughs> Last couple of videos did a lot of editing. I may not do as much on this video. We'll just kind of see how it goes. Hold on, is my... There we go, stamina. I'm at 20 right now. Wow, that's actually crazy. I haven't seen it get that high before. World event. I mean, I would do this, but I just don't see the point right now. Everything is locked behind, like, the black market and... Craziest thing is, as I'm recording this, in about 14 hours, I'll be having ear surgery. So I was going to just play this for a little bit while I still can. I don't know if I'm going to be out of commission for a little bit or what. I guess we'll just kind of see the recovery period. It's essentially that ear problem I've had for like the last, I would say a year and maybe eight months or so. I've just, I've had like 60 or 70% hearing on my right side, which is annoying for sure. Uh, Stamina-wise, let's go back to this one again. There we go. Alright, so we're hunting down... What is this? This might be it. This is probably the one. I'm just gonna assume that's them. 
<laughs> I'm about to go crazy. I've been waiting for this moment for a minute. How y'all doing? Watch this ram damage. Bam! We got something there. Crew boarding, but I'm probably good. Is this the right one? Oh, I did get it, I think. What's it say now? Return back with your findings. Okay, so that was it. Pretty quick. I had a feeling some of these missions would go by pretty fast once I leveled up. That was kind of the goal. I wanted to make the game easier for myself because there were a few times where I was really struggling just trying to get, I guess, the mechanics down. Not really sure how to get infamy. Best way to get silver. I've got two methods of getting silver. I'll actually kind of talk about what I've done, I guess, off recording for a little bit while we're, like, traveling around in this video. Maybe the next few videos. I'm really sure how long this game's actually going to be. But I assume most of the objectives will be pretty straightforward. Let me actually change the shortcut because I like this, but this needs to be something else. I need more food, it looks like. What is this one? So, two spots. Up here, you fast travel to that, and there's... See these little ships along the way? Any of these icons, you just, like... Use the crowbar, whatever. I think it's like crowbar three or four you need. I think it's three, actually. And... Yeah, you get like two to four hundred silver per ship. And you get like metal scrap to craft like cannonballs and everything. Or metal salvage, I think is what it's called. But I haven't really done a lot of the in-game stuff. I really just... I did that to get silver. Uh, there's some people saying you could like buy certain items and then sell them at other vendors for a higher price. I've seen that method. I haven't tried it yet, though. You know, what is this? What do they got in combat with others? Who are they fighting? So I didn't realize what the red ships were. So there's different factions. There's like four factions in the entire map. I feel like the faction you don't want to mess with <laughs> are... I'm trying to see, actually. Oh, this is the area. So, yeah. Dutch Merchant. That, okay, the DMC one, or whatever it's called. Uh, yeah, that's actually the name of it. I keep thinking about Devil May Cry when I see that. Devil May Cry is like the DMC or whatever. <laughs> but yeah, I, I've kind of done that. I also went and did a lot of plunders. Like, some of these towers right here give you, like, a couple of hundred infamy each. Now, it does wear down. It seems like there's a nerf on what you can do a lot of. So, I feel like if it changes, it's, like, change servers. That's kind of the way to do it. Like, turn off crossplay, turn it back on, and you're good to go. But I had to just make a choice. It's like, do I want to finish this game or not? And I just decided, I was like, you know what? Let's finish the main contracts. My goal is to get until the PS5 tells me we're at 100%. Right now, it says 50 but it said 50 pretty much this entire time, ever since, like, the prologue. But I assume we go here, do her missions, and I've seen other people play it, and their videos are not much further after this, hopefully, so. All right, here we go. I heard you visited the island with the ruined lighthouse. That place is cursed. I don't know why it's so bright in here. All right, here we go. You get 900 infamy for this? I might reach the Kingpin DMC by default now. And the Orankaya were so proud to be seen together. Well, thanks to you. Now they're allies with the Abyss. And the bribes you salvaged. Their vision of peace. Sabotage with a royal stamp on it. It will pay for a month of meals, but it also reveals the extent of their corruption. I swear, if this goes on, we might see clogs on the Sultan's feet. The bond between unqualified men is stronger than their sense of duty to a nation. As if women were a bigger threat to them than colonizers. I don't know why. Everything else looks normal, but the saturation or the brightness level 
on this character is insane. It's like the area we're in is just extremely bright. I'm going to check the brightness after this. I haven't changed anything. Uh, just try working with them. Let's see. Never. I'll die before I submit to those. Chortling dugongs. What you did there was fight against oppression and the overfed boys club. A fight you won. Forget whoever else you work for. With me, you'll feel at least one tenth decent. There are more names on the list, Captain. The purge is not finished. Alright, now it looks normal. Yeah, I didn't change anything. I, that's weird. Alright, we got more cosmetics. Let's get this. 900 infamy is a lot. Alright, what's next? Let's see. Nightfall. Okay. You get 950? You get a lot for the main story. You must hear this. The Dutch have outdone themselves today. I, the commander-in-chief of his majesty, in the gracious defense of his native country, Holland, demand in our master's name that you accept this letter of apology. Apologies. <laughs> they aren't sorry for anything. They want me to stand down when I finally have an army again thanks to the resources you brought us. Before the coup, I could have tolerated an apology like this. Sat at their table. Negotiated. Laughed at their unfunny jokes. Baikla. They want an answer? I'll give them one. I need you to deliver a punishment that shows the Orangaya that what I might lack in years, I make up for in guile. I like sewing. I bet a cotton thread, the prick of a needle, and a couple of usurpers' heads will dispel any doubt about my ability to send a strong message. My people will understand I'm serious, and like you, will be loved for our bad deeds as much our good ones. Anytime it pans out, that means, like, we're good to go. All right, contract accepted. Here we go. We lured a DMC convoy there once. Our new towers were positioned high up on the cliffs. We knew their flaccid cannons could never reach us. The ships arrived. We sent a flurry of arrows into the throng of bodies. It was a massacre. We went to the beach to pick up valuables off the floating bodies. The warm water was frothy, scarlet red, a bloodbath. Right. If they dare to encroach our territory, they better be prepared to lose something, even their lives. After the fray, our humanity got the better of us and we decided to bury them. Wrapped their eyes in seaweed, placed them in graves we dug with our oars. A week later, half my crew died from some cursed sickness. Those wretched Dutch clawed us down into graves we had dug. That island reminds me that mercy has no place in war. You are always welcome here. All right, let's see. Search for the leader and the gulf. Now, I have kind of been around the map a lot, so I probably have most of the fast travel points. I don't have this one, though. Okay. Uh, what we could do is... The reason I farm silver as well, so I could fast travel as much as I want. This is, like, right here. I feel like it's actually easier just to leave here and go that route. Repair. Says we got plenty of cannonballs, mortar bombs. 85 repairs. All right, set sail. Here we go. Yeah, I've put this on PC, so here's what I've kind of done. In my spare time between last video and this video, I spent, like, two nights just farming. The DMC is expecting a ransom for the captured Sultana, but Rama wants us to fill the trunk with the traitor's heads instead. Let me check something really quick. Hold on. Make sure the settings are good, because the fact that the brightness was that... 
Display settings. Yeah, it's at 60. I mean, it's pretty much uh, almost at default. I think that cutscene was just kind of bugged. No, it wasn't crazy. I was like, what's going on here? The only thing I wish it wasn't in the game right now is stamina. I feel like it's a little weird that... I don't know, because if you look at the actual boat, or the ship, I guess... Oh, let me grab this loot. What is this? Treasure map, silver box, really? Just randomly found that. What's on this one? I'm not going to fight everything I see. I could, I guess, but I've spent a lot of time fighting. <laughs> I wish you could kind of like walk around your ship, kind of like an Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. I feel like that game, being able to like, okay, you're in the middle of like steering your ship, you could like go back into like first person, be at the will, and then dive overboard and go to like an island or swim away or something. It's pretty cool. Like, I think like Assassin's Creed 3 was the first time I'd ever seen like the combat like that. 4, I think, was a masterpiece. One of my favorite Assassin's Creed games. I've heard a lot of people say this game's like a full downgrade from those. And I can see that from certain perspectives. I don't personally feel that way. I feel like the game's decent. No, nah, it doesn't have a great story by any means, but I'm here to just kind of get to the end game. Let me show you how to get silver really quick. Watch this. You just find ships like this. Sometimes there's a lot on the islands. Sometimes it'll be purple as well, which... Yeah, we got 310 from that. And you get repair kits. Metal salvage stuff you can sell. Not a lot of stuff you can sell. Sometimes you get a lot more stuff. Look how close these are together. That was a purple one. Sometimes they give you like 400. We'll see. 391. I'll take it. And that's it. Ship over there too. So you can just like... Literally, it's like what? Six or 700 just like that. All right, so what are we doing exactly? What does this say? Search for the leader. Okay. That wouldn't be a small boat. I would have might. Really? That's it? Oh, you're about to get cooked. Go ahead and launch that. And then we're going in. Watch this damage. Not a lot. But this is about to be nuts. Get ready. It'll be easy for a little bit. But I'm sure, like, the final stuff will be really tough. Alright, muskets, let's go ahead and get this. Kind of like affects them in a way that they don't get their health back. Missing everything. I love it. Alright, done. It kind of sucks that there's no, uh, how far away do we got to go? Is it really just back down there? Or is it, oh, it's over here. Let's go around the other way. Looks like, yeah, back left and then down and around. I feel like this ship, although it is, I think, the best ship in the game right now. It depends on your play style, really. I like to be a kind of aggressive. They're all fighting right now, but we can kind of ignore them right now. Because there's no point. Well, I guess I could get some easy, easy XP. <laughs> the fact that we make it to Kingpin before the end of the game based off of the main story missions is insane. I think we... Yeah, we can't cut through there. Let's go right. Gotta get out in the open water first. I thought I'd be kind of trivialize some of the combat being like really I wouldn't say high rank but just having the better ship in the game right now there's all medium ships and small I hate that like the small ones are kind of useless after you've upgraded oh this is undiscovered but I oh we can disembark yo let's get it nice that was kind of cool I've had a lot of fun kind of covering the actual story parts of the game. Granted, it's not a huge story. It's just, it's, I will say this, it's a little weird that we've had two games in a row now, right? 
so think about it. We had Suicide Squad, but everybody said the old Batman games were better. And then we had Skull and Bowls, another live service game right after it. And everybody says the Assassin's Creed pirate combat was better. It's just kind of crazy how the world is... It's like games were better back then. It's an odd thing. And I kind of agree. I think Assassin's Creed 4, after looking at some of the gameplay from it, and then getting back on this game, I was like, man, if you could do at least like half the stuff you can do on that game in this game, it would be so nice. I feel like the steering of the ships is also a little like... I don't know. I feel like I'm not able to turn as easy in this game versus that game. Not really sure what that would actually be called or whatever, but... What do they got there? Fine relic, sheet glass. All right. Was it level eight? Don't really need anything right now. I'm honestly just along for the ride. Goal is to just kind of finish the game at this point. I do feel like the wind is always in front of me. Like... It's like, I'm always going against it. Another undiscovered. Interesting. This is going to be an area you plunder or interact. Let's see what they have. Sometimes you don't have... Yes, yeah, only plunder. Got you. We're not going to get involved with all that. Let's just keep going over here. But yeah, thank you all for supporting this. This isn't really a huge series by any means, but I've had a lot of fun covering it. Just something to play, you know? A lot of great games on the horizon. I just wanted to at least, like, complete a few of the uh, major titles so far this year. And so far, I've done that. Just trying to keep that trend up for this year. This is, like, the least... Yeah, they don't really have a lot of stuff. They don't have, like, anything I really need. Some of the in-game stuff you want to get is all through the black market. You don't even have to craft stuff. You just, like, literally just buy straight through that. More sheet glass. I'm good. Now that I kind of have a more... Like, okay, the first several videos, I didn't have a huge understanding of, like, what I'm supposed to do. Now I kind of do. Now, as far as the end game goes, I have no idea. Apparently, there's like this thing where you collect pieces and you're doing like a transport type mission. Can I, I guess, interact here, right? Submit that. Let me see what they have for sale really quick. Uh, nothing. I may buy some of this. I feel like those are usually. Let me get some more mortars. There we go. Art escaped the threat. Alright. Wait, can you not go to the other side of this area? Yeah, this is pretty scary. Being like surrounded. Now, even though I am the same level as them, I feel like the ships I really fear are the ones that are like higher than me. Not necessarily. Because they're still doing a lot of damage to me right now. mess around with it. That ship's already like weak, kind of. I really don't even need to kill him. Brace! A little bit of damage. Not too much, though. Yeah, I may get sunken. I'm not invincible by any means, so. Let him do some damage, and then I'll heal up. There we go. Yeah, we're just supposed to go back. The fact that it did not hit me is crazy. We're just supposed to escape, right? <laughs> I think we pretty much did that. It was behind us. Nope, they're still there. Sometimes they just like, just turn around and leave, you know? Yeah, 
If this one leaves me alone, I think we'll be in the clear. Yeah, they're turning around. Yeah, eventually they just kind of give up. I've kind of noticed that a lot. This reminds me of, like, old school games where you're being chased by, like, cops and you gotta, like, lose them, kind of. Except we're in, like, a faction area. Yeah, I was really torn on this game. It's like, I remember after the Skurlock story ended, I was like, do we just keep going or what? And that's when I decided just to kind of go for it. I was like, let's just get this done. Because I want to see it to the end. Strange sightings nearby. I think this might be like the ghost ship type thing. But it only pops up at night, I believe. Or it could be the... There's like an uh, underwater monster you can fight. There's like... The ghost ship apparently gives you really good stuff. I want to do a video on that. But not until like after the game's over. If I can even find it. We'll see. We'll see how these last videos do, I guess. Not sure much more of this game we got left. Or some in combat. Um... I'm just trying to just like chill. And they're all after me. Let them fight. I guess I could just like float around a little bit more. Oh no, they're right there too. Okay, so how am I supposed to exactly escape them if they're just camping the spot I'm supposed to go? We'll go further away, I guess. We gotta wait for the DMC thing to go away. Or the DCM. I don't know why I keep... <laughs> I keep looking at it backwards. It's DMC. Devil May Cry. Let's go with that. If I keep destroying their ships, it'll just rile them up even more. So, I'm trying to avoid that right now. Can't seem to lose them, though. Yeah, there's a lot. I can't fight them all. I mean, I guess I could, but... I've never had a, any type of part in this game, even when I was just chilling, where... I got chased like this. This is part of the mission, but still, it seemed highly aggressive. Yeah, like, can't they go back to the area? What's going on here? Okay, it looks like the... The threat thing's not there anymore, the threat meter, but they're still red, technically, so... Maybe I try going back this way. Man, why are we against the wind again? Look at that. It's always right in front of us. Yeah, they're still after me. Uh, I don't know. Let's just, I guess, get it done here, right? I'm just going to park. I want some of this. Let's go. because I don't even really need to fight them. But they just kept popping up. Lead the shot a little bit. Maybe that's a good spot. If I can stagger them enough, that might work. Yeah, okay, so the rogue ships, I think, are these. Or maybe that's not them. I'm really not sure. Yeah, they're all fighting each other. I'm just gonna, like, run back. I'm still technically wanted by them. Oh, no. This will hit the other person, too. Oh, my goodness. Now I'm hostile with both of them. Well, I'm gonna take some of that. We're out of here. You know what? I, here's what I'll do. I'm just gonna hang by this until I kill everybody. That's my goal right now. The minute it goes away, we're docking. Alright, same as last time. We're just going to just set up shop right here. Alright, took a little while, but we got it done. Okay, unseen threat. What does this say? Cosmetics. Okay, lie low for the time being before reporting back. Okay, we got the snow ship. Okay, that's how you get the blueprint. I didn't realize that. All right, so we kind of have to lie low for a little bit. So what I'll do is I will wait and just kind of like transition when you can actually keep going. We have to wait, I guess, for her to kind of like with this girl. Like then we have to like come up with a plan or whatever. We got to do the same thing with her. All right, hang tight. 
All right, so after waiting a little bit, it turns into this. Unseen threat changes to check your mailbox for an important letter. All right, so here we go. It says final warning. It's two of them. What is this? Cargo. What? Another thing. What is this one? It's two of the same thing. Interesting. So we're going back to her now to... Deliver the grim message. Okay. It's kind of weird you have to wait. Like they couldn't just like already have it set up for you. You know? <laughs> Is it really necessary? I waited for like 10 minutes and I was like, let me just reset. And it worked immediately. Talking to the locals, I hear. The blacksmith is an old friend. I guess it was worth getting you on our side after all. You seem to have performed magic. You deliver traitors' heads and poof, turn them into the finest jewelry. Hariati's brooch, a threat weaved in gold. Who do they think I am? One of their miserable wives. I feel like I'll just go with the first one. I really don't know. A threat. This is how they see any woman they can't control. The Dutch have no substance. If they wanted to kill the Sultana, they'd have done it already. I can't overthink this. Doubt is what kills us. The Dutch spread doubt amongst the Rempa and pounce on us with bloody charm. They parade the Sultana around and blame me for her imprisonment, thinking it will knock me off course. As their mouths overflow with lies, I am losing loyal Rempanis who no longer trust my word. People I have lived with my whole life. But I will not give in. I am running out of patience. If they don't want to give us back what's ours, we'll take it. Uh, what does it say? Accept that one. Okay, the Toe of Empire. Are you feeling at home here yet? Because someone else does. Van Kinko, that sentimental brick is definitely my favorite kind of colonizer. The kind that tells you they're here for your own good. Everyone knows people cross oceans and brave rogue waves for... Selfless reasons, right? A helping hand from the civilized world. <laughs> I sell for the love of the ocean. I like the second one. Like the fat pearls one finds inside the bellies of sharks. Farming may be honest work, but you aren't going to find any pearls in that dirt. Van Kinkle comes here to rob us, and then brings our culture home as his discovery. Pathetic excuse for an explorer. The man can't read Rampanese, but he steals manuscripts for their gilded covers. I bet he'd collect oyster shells if we told them they were worth something. If you can take back what's ours, my people will see that I stand up for Rampa. Maybe they'll remember it is a place worth fighting for. A skilled craftsman. He knows the realities of war depend on fiery, iron-willed souls like him. Lucky we are to have him. He used to make swords for the Sultan, you know. Decorative. Boring symbols for idle men. Swords are meant to be thrust and plunged, not hung on walls. But I admit, even with all that strength, I still feel pity for the man. He has endured many lifetimes of pain. Pale, greedy hands strangled that man's heart and left it to rot. 
Unfortunately, he found Telok Penjara, like the Unbound, like many of us. But he is still restless. I can hear him hammering in the night like a steady heartbeat, a comforting sound to those who like him, a lullaby for those who never sleep. Uh, sleep isn't profitable. I would disagree. <laughs> True, that snoring doesn't pay off bounties. Though the DMC have made millions putting my people to sleep. Remember the good ones in your life. The ones that keep you moving forward despite the pain. Being a leader is lonely, Captain. But loneliness is the only thing I know. Alright, sell to the Northwest. Let's see, to assist. I guess, so she just really hates the Dutch, I guess. Like, <laughs> seems like that's the uh, theme right now. Okay, headed up here. So we're just supposed to just go up there and fight, I guess. Let's go ahead and fast travel here. I think my overall goal of this game was just to get to the actual story and then try out the end game a little bit. Alright, set sail. Here we go. That's really just like right there. Kind of works out that I got most of the fast travel points that really matter. Uh, for a took a little while, but the DMC raid the Brumba sacred sites for Becky Trinkets. The Sultana may not be with us, but her spirit and all she stands for will not be broken. So wait, once we get over here, we're just supposed to assist. I'm guessing just fighting against them again. But maybe there'll be like a boss that pops up. Really not sure. Right, we can do a bad job. Viola needs you lot in fighting shape. Oh no, it's one of those. These ships are so annoying. I'm out of here. They do a lot of damage too. Watch this. It may even cook me. Okay, it says sink the raiders. Interesting. Which one is this? That's somebody else. Oh, so it has to be in this little like circle area got you is this like one of those plunder spots because it feels like it is just getting them out of the way oh, we're supposed to help them right because yeah, we got the alliance thing with them so we can't do damage to them by accident that's good all right we're gonna be fighting all these enemies over here. This is just like a plunder thing. Get ready. I got confused for a minute because the other one's called DMC as well, but it's like a different variation. I'm assuming just clear out three of these ships and we're good. This one's done. Okay. Massive damage, my goodness. Well, last but not least, where are you going? I hit the side by accident. <laughs> There's different like cannons I want to get, but it is a long grind to get everything. Like literally everything has a blueprint and you gotta go collect so much stuff. All right, turn the uh, settlement back, okay? The Dutch Devils, these are mere trinkets. Wasn't too bad. Thing is, I'm the same level as a lot of these enemies, you know, so it's not like I'm overpowered. Now, I do have one of the better ships in the game, so maybe that helps. But the actual, like, number, which I don't even know if it really matters. I've heard people say some of the green cannons are better than some of the purple ones. It just depends. I guess it's me and this person do, like, the exact same mission. <laughs> no, that's it right there. Let me go back. Hold on. I was wondering why it was so close, and I was like... It, like, right here, it doesn't look like it's 500 away, right? But it is. Like, you wouldn't think that by just looking at it, but I guess uh, I thought I was going to go around the other side. We're going to get here and interact. 
and then submit this. This might be a plunder type thing. I'm not really sure. 1050. Man, we're definitely getting the kingpin soon. What can you buy here? Anything worthwhile? Let's see. Don't really feel like I need any of this stuff. Alright, so now what? Explore. Oh, continue when ready. Okay. So we just go back over there. So I'll just go here and then fast travel. Happy we don't have to wait again. That was kind of nuts to kind of like sit there for 10 minutes and then have to restart my game just to like continue the actual story. I think overall, if I can find the positives in this, I know like everybody's been like a negative uh, hater towards this game, which I can kind of get it if you were wanting like, I don't know, any kind of like Assassin's Creed style thing. And it is kind of weird to go from like what we had to this. But at the same time, I don't know. The company's changed. I just think they shouldn't have said stuff like, hey, it's a quadruple A game and stuff. I think it, it kind of put a target on the back, I felt like. I'm no PR expert, but I would imagine saying, like, if I was to say this video is about to be the greatest video of all time, it's like you're kind of drawing it towards you, you know? It's like I'd rather, like, lay low and just <laughs> not do all that. I'm just going straight there, by the way. I realize I just went right past the fast shuffle spot. DMC grow more brazen by the day, thinking themselves better than us. Yeah, I think the actual combat is fine. I think some of the choices are a little weird, but we'll kind of see how the story progresses. I just wish, like, the actual dialogue... Like, when I played Assassin's Creed Mirage last year, um, it was actually a lot of fun. You know? I discover we're not going to plunder right now. It just makes no sense to do that. But it's like the dialogue in that game, it's, like, similar to this, but this feels, like, a little off. I don't know if it's like the voice acting or the character models or what. I know it's mostly about the ships and everything, but I'm excited to kind of see the large ships. That's one thing I want to check out. Because Skurlock's ship, I don't know if that was a medium or a large one, but whatever he had felt insane. All right, we're getting close. Just says continue and ready. Makes me think like we're about to do something major. I really don't know. I don't believe I've ever, like, hold on, I don't believe I've ever prepped so much for videos and like, I mean it has to be a long time right, I think the Avatar game I kind of did the same thing, but not to this extent, you know, I just was like I want to check out the best ship in the game, got that. And then, it's temporarily the best one. We'll see what happens next, though. Alright, gonna be some cutscenes, some dialogue, some missions. How close are we to Kingpin? Hold on. We need, like, 2,400 to, like, clear that. Or close to that. Maybe 2,300. 